MCO Nation, have you ever experienced spatial disorientation? What's going on, MCO Nation? It's Martin here today, and we're gonna be talking about. Whoa, 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 Martin! Trust your instruments. Whoa! Thank you for that, Matthew. Today, we're gonna to be talking about spatial disorientation. Spatial disorientation is a state of confusion where the pilot loses visual reference to the actual horizon. There are many different types of spatial disorientation, and a good way to remember them all is with the acronym ICE flags. I is for inversion illusion. For example, a quick change from a climb to a level flight will make the pilot feel as they are tumbling backwards. The natural tendency is to nose the aircraft over, and this will intensify the illusion. C is for Coriolis illusion. This will happen when there's a quick head movement while we're in a constant rate turn. After the inner ear has stopped sensing any movements and we stop the constant rate turn, if we move our head abruptly to one side, we're gonna have the feeling that we're banking in the opposite direction. The typical occurrence of this is when we are doing constant rate turns during our instrument training. E is for elevator illusion. On a turbulent day, an updraft could cause extreme vertical acceleration. This will cause the pilot to nose over the aircraft. This illusion will have the opposite effect when we're having downdrafts. F is for false horizons. This illusion can be caused by city lights, sloping clouds, or sometimes just the stars. This will lead pilots to believe that there's a false horizon instead of the real one. The pilot will tend to align the plane with this false horizon and most likely will put the plane in a very dangerous attitude. L is for leans. This will occur when you have a sudden return to level flight after being in a prolonged turn. This will be unnoticed by the pilot and the sensory organs in your inner ear. The brain will receive different sensations and the initial tendency of the pilot will be to put the plane in an opposite bank, mainly in the direction of the original turn. A is for autokinesis. This will mostly happen at night or in the darkness. When you are staring at light for a long period of time, it will appear to start moving. When you're flying at night, pilots shouldn't be stared at stationary lights for a long period of time, if you want to avoid this sensation. G is for graveyard spin and graveyard spiral. A graveyard spin is when a pilot recovering from the spin, in which the inner ear has stopped sensing the turn, may have the illusion that they have entered a spin in the opposite direction. A graveyard spiral is when a pilot experiences the illusion of not turning after being in a constant rate turn for an extended period of time. Returning to a straight and level flight causes the sensation, so that the pilot turns back into the original turn. S is for somatographic illusion. This usually occurs during takeoff. The rapid acceleration pushes the pilot back into their seat, giving the sensation of a nose-up attitude. The opposite will happen during a deceleration. The best way to prepare for special disorientations is to become aware of it. How will they happen? But most importantly, trust your instruments. Have you ever experienced special disorientation? Let us know in the comments down below and always remember, a good pilot is always learning.